Today, you'll be learning how to create this professional looking church foyer. Yeah, it's going to be massive. It's going to be a tutorial that I'm going to really explain a lot of things and all that. So, I want you guys to stay tuned to the end. And there are so many secrets I'm going to be showing you in this particular design that you don't want to miss. So, do wait to stay put to the end. And one good news again is I'm going to be giving out the PSD file. Of this particular design not just give the, giving out the PSD file but I will not see the last thing let's jump it straight into the video before the end of the video I'm going to tell you the last thing so it's very essential that you watch to the very end because what I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be telling you is going to help you guys like you have to go through some orders that you normally go through some other times to get some stuff so Yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Azana Diola. Please do wait to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Azana Diola Photoshop Tutorials. Here we we'll learn, we we'll create, and we we'll become. So, these are my videos. We are on 193 videos. Probably this should be the last video of the year. And season greetings to all my Christians, friends, and loved ones, and everyone that is celebrating around this time. Season greetings to you guys and happy new year in advance. Probably we are going to be you're going to be seeing me next year and we have a lot of plans, a lot of things to work on next year and trust you to catch you right there. So please do it to subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber and leave a like on this video and probably drop a comment also if you love it. So let's just jump straight into what we have for you today. Yeah. So first and first, we are going to okay not i'm not very strong right now you can hear that from my voice but i'll get better yeah and scared of anything so but i'm trying to get my voice back and all those stuff so let's just jump straight to it we're going we're going to use our control n to create a new document like so control n right these are size you already know so i'll just click on create and I open my folder that contains all the materials used. So these are all the materials I use from the from the text effect to the font to the backgrounds to the stars to the image to the lighting and the worshippers and another. So these are what we are going to be using to create this design. I want this design to be fast, please. So. I just want you to understand how idea comes or how probably I come up with these stuff and so you can easily come up with something like that on your own even without downloading the PSD files or you can come there's nothing good or sweet that you're coming up with your own thing like something original you understand so I'm just going to show you how to how I went about it and all that so the first thing we want to do is our background yeah, this is the first background i'm going to use <coughs> so we'll just stretch it like so stretch it till it feels yeah it feels everywhere you can see that it's not looking sharp anymore we don't need a sharp image so it doesn't matter so what i want to do is i don't want this bright reflection on the top right so i want i don't want that so i'll just flip it upside down and drag this and leave it something like this yeah probably so i'll just i'll be switching from the original design and probably pick things but i want to get the idea the hardest part of this design is not in the right up yeah the right up brought out the beauty but it's in the background creation and the image positioning are we together the color choice and all that so that is the difficult part of this design so i'm just going to take my time to explain that then we'll just drag all this text which you already know if you don't have to use your text effect psd like the text effect i'm going to drop that is the text effect psd file or calling mock up whichever one 
you can let me know in the comment section probably i will do a tutorial on that or teaching you how to use text effects yeah so this is what we brought so it's going to be on dread everything is on dread yeah something like this so the next thing i want to bring is this so you can see that i reduced the feel because i wanted it to blend with this okay let me let me be practical now okay after i put this i literally use added this so let me just drag this i'm going to open it so you see what i used right don't rush to download the psd file i know what i'm saying you understand there's something i want to tell you so and apart from that you will learn from my explanation i i i i i i hope you get what i'm saying there's a lot you will learn from me explaining to you understand then you just downloading the psd and just using it like that it doesn't make sense so so i'll just so i've picked that right yeah i've picked that so the next thing i want to do okay yeah let me explain now so after doing this i wanted this to blend like i want the color is too it's not i love red i love yellow I, they would just feel, you understand so i want something like that this so i have to mix this color this gradient color so i'll open it for you so it's just a red and yellow mixture right if you want to see the number let me open it so you can see so these are the color code and for the yellow this is the color code so i'm just and i just shifted it to this this angle a little bit and that's all for that so what i did was to change the blending mode this is how it looks normally so i had to change the blending mode to what gave me something like this so it was looking good for me a little bit i felt it was too dark so i kept going on and going on and going on and going on yeah this was looking good but it was too bright so take your time to see what works for you yeah this was looking good but too ash yeah overlay is always ash so soft light so this was what gave me what but even with this it was still looking dark a little bit was it dark or too light for me so but i guess that's where i had to improvise and bring up this background so i just had to then look for a background like i have it already so i just went to my backgrounds and drag it like so And I drop it like here and I zoom. I say zoom, I stretch it. I mean, so it's in its fuse everywhere, please. So, after doing that, I had to tell that it's going to blend. I have to reduce the fee 82 so I just reduce it to 82 so so I just want those few you understand that busyness you understand because if I pull this one it's too this place are too plain you understand so I don't I want this feel you understand see now it's giving me that vibe I need so I guess you understand now look at the way it was before now look at this this makes it looks more is this cinematic I, I guess so so that is how we came up with that and I noticed something this is not touching the ground so I need to bring this up a little bit probably like this yeah let's just leave it like this place so I want it to be fast because I noticed that we don't have a my generation I have a very low retention rate right now so people don't like watching long videos and all that they just want you to go straight to the point but this i'm going straight to the point as fast as i can i don't like long videos either so i'm going to what next so my before i, I didn't okay don't like these stuff to deceive these layers right don't get deceived by these layers these layers there are so many switches so don't think that after this I did this, I did this, I did this, I no, that's not how it worked. After I did this, listen, after I did this, the next thing I did was to do this. Let me use solid color. I don't know if solid color is there or I don't use my 
But let me use solid color. So this is what I did. So you should understand what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to darken the dark. So I'm, I'll remove all these parts. So change it to black, please. So you use it on your layer max. So black means to hide any portion you are cleaning. So I'm hiding this portion. So sorry guys. So something like this. So this is what I did next. And after this, I'm just assuming I want to design this nearly. This is what I did. So after this, I had to bring my the momo, the image, not model, please. Is a is a client. <laughs> so I hear people say they can't give their client this thing they can't do this their client may see it and get angry and all that well i've not gotten that issue most of my clients don't even use their stuff for tutorial but i have a mutual relationship with most of my clients that use their designs for tutorial they would probably will know each other more not just customer relationship but friendship like you understand to know each other personally you understand most of the people i use their designs most of my and that's why you see most of the time i use the same people almost every time for my tutorial but those that I don't have personal relationship with them i don't do that because they have the right to sue you you understand right for putting their stuff or using their but i don't think they should because it's for the public when they do flyers they put it on public space you understand so you're doing you showing people how you do the flag i don't think it's but that's another discussion for another day please so so if you see my design with this picture before you can check my channel you see tons of designs i used that huh? right so you see that the picture is always let me show you that's why sometimes you just need most of the time these i use the picture very small like this and i fade out the other parts you understand probably let me bring it down here yeah these are using it like this is not bad right it's not bad it's just i'm tired of this particular pattern right so i want something different something new it's not really something new so i've been doing it sometime but i don't do it frequently as i do smaller images like this so i just okay let me do something different like this big this time covering everywhere and you'll be like, uh uh, this she's covering everywhere. So, uh, where are you going to write? So, that's why we add this stuff we did. So, this is what I'm going to write this side, this side. So, that's just it. So, that's the secret. So, you see, as we make it, so once you get to this level in design, the next thing you want to do, they are very easy. Even see, the answer I put at the back is not needed. I also want something that will be artistic, looks very okay. The worship. Is a church program and all that so but it's not needed i can as well leave it like this because for me the background is looking good like this, even without the stuff so i can see some light ray coming out from my back right it's because of this background right so that's one thing i'm going to teach you guys probably next year how to use lights properly i see so many people use lights but they're not getting the idea sometimes use light and it spoils your design right so i remember when i was going up as a graphic designer i love using light effects like i was addicted to light effects. maybe that's why i know how to use it well i won't say I, i'm not a professional in that but I, I know how to use it to some certain extent if i use light I, I i know it looks good so and sometimes i overuse it so spoiling the design idea even this one, my, I used so many. My friend was like, no, it's too much, it's too much. Reduce the light. <laughs> so I was like, so what next? So this is what, or is this what I did next? Yes, this is what I did next. I was like, okay, let me find something online like so. So, bring. so let me check the blending mode I used. So this was somehow tricky and all that. I have to clean some parts of light 40 so you understand now so how to blend it so i'm using soft light so if you just kind of use soft light and leave it like this it doesn't make sense so i'm bringing it to our back so look, look imagine that this soft light is too it has 
but it has brightened this part again which i don't want you understand so there's problem so i had to reduce the opacity again that, that brightness is too much so after reducing it i had to put add the layer max then go to my brush then do what we call clean this part you understand i still wonder my feel that black feel sorry i'm claiming some parts there so i still want that feel so i just try to clean everywhere that was not really necessary <coughs> oh sorry guys yeah i'm totally gonna see you guys on general probably will go and hang out so if you will and in, if you are in abuja i want to hang out with me just let me know in the comment section give you my phone number we'll connect not just one people like if you are in abuja and you want us to hang out probably new year or anywhere around the, the, that period wash night new year eve or after new year within that holiday period just let me know i'm free right so just let me know in the comment section if you want to hang out with me so i just want a few of my what they call it my youtube subscribe let's just hang out somewhere chill out discuss talk about business talk about what they call it talk about graphic design in particular and uh, how to make the year coming like beautiful like more productive and more you understand so back to our business so so this is one right so i feel that i'm not still feeling because she's covering everywhere so these hands are not enough for me so that is why the mixture i had to add another one duplicate you understand this is just duplicating you understand so let me just i like the three and just drop their place so i'll just delete this first one all right so and if you notice something okay i'm going to delete this this layer marks here and add it back again and so this is the kind of claiming i did around yeah something like this this vignette kind of clean up right this type of you know really makes sense because it gives those edges some kind of feel i would together so i'll come back here yeah you see those edges now they are dark right so it's looking perfect for me so this is what we how got to this point so i guess you guys can see now that with this already done your right top should just kill the old design like your right top so i hear people say how do you come up with ideas for your text like like i said i have text effects is on my channel you can check you can download tons like is it 100 or i don't know i can't remember i'm not sure it's up to 100 i don't know but check there are text a pack of text effects that when you download like you are good to go you understand i'm trying to update it i'm trying to do another collection of text effects though but for now you can download that and use them perfectly so once you get those text effects you just come the first thing i tell you is that your team your team is very important your team should be the subject of most of your design right so it should be very bold don't be scared to increase the sizes see big fonts i see big font when when you increase the size of your font it's i don't know what it does i learned that from one designer designer in school then i've forgotten his name we are not in connection anymore so but the guy when you see his design the first thing you see is his team it's always which i thought i was doing which using which which sizes on my phone before but i discovered that i was just joking and i got to see that guy and because it's been long i i lost connection and I, I don't see his designs anymore i can't even look, i can't remember his name so i then i used to see his posters anytime he does any designs for school poster shows all the stuff i was just like wow this guy is mad like this guy is good you understand so all that put together is makes his design stand out, and that's why i learned how to use with, like this font now is not the size the text size is not too big it's not big for me if it's that guy not how big it will be 
and that thing stand out for him. So I learned that from him, and I've been applying it sometimes back, like, was it, like, say, three, four years back, I've been applying that to my design. But recently, because I, I don't see the guy's design again, I, I quickly go down and start doing my normal, normal font size. So, what I'm saying is this allow your team to stand out. So, this is my team. The next thing I did was after doing all this drama. The next, oh, it's like a face is dark, right? So, I need to clean this particular, reduce the size. Sorry, I'm feeling a little bit of a dick. Sorry. So something like yeah, something like this. So the next thing we want to do is so we added a light glow at the at the back. Yeah, we added this light glow there. I don't think it's in that moment I added it. It's going to be maybe towards the end. I love adding my light towards the ending part of the design. But watch it, whichever. I've taught you the basics and I want to teach you. So the next thing we are going to be doing now is just carry and drag prob prob probably. Then I'm going to tell you what I want to tell you. Before, what I promised to tell you in the starting, in, at the beginning of this video. Yeah. Okay, so <coughs> Okay, this is red, this is my one I mix some things up so but you understand, so let me just change this to it's somehow dark right? something from me. Uh, something like this. So, but you get the idea, right? So, and this place should be more covered. This hand. Change it to white and just. Okay, so we are good to go. So this was my thing. So I'm just going to drag it. The fonts, everything, the text effect is there. Everything is there. Okay, the clock. It's still the same thing. You download the PNG clock. I drive it. Okay, let me look for it and just give it to you guys. Let me add it to the what do you call it? Sorry. So let me just is it clock right? So is it clock or time I use? Okay, let me see. So I didn't see that time. So let me check time. Okay, yeah, this is it. So I'll just copy this and paste on the, the material I use. Yeah, I'm dropping the material I use and the PSD file. So whichever one you want to download. So this is the time I used for this. More like an alarm. But well, we must mostly we use it for time and all that so so this is just it you just write your stuff give it space put this stuff there and go to add put it on your text effect document file and click save and it's add up like this so so that is your team the date yeah, for this date, the time I this time right here, I created this stuff. Is I can't even know. I just wanted to do something, probably 
like probably I'm doing a logo. So let me just drag the the time and the date and just drop place. So So then the stars, Facebook Live, it's your time, a name, the shape, the width, the what again. Okay, this white border, the 90 days, the UK, the London, the logo, and what again. So I guess that's all the text. So I'm about to tell you that stuff right now. I'm about to show you detail. Yeah, to tell you that stuff. So the good news is this is that you are not going to be needing a password for the PSD file. So you don't need to look for a password. You just enjoy the video, download the PSD file. I'm not putting any password for this. So this is like a just download your PSD file, extract no password, please. Just watch and just watch the video extra and for some people that want to support me some people are asking they want to support me they want to show me love yeah there are two ways you can do that and i'm going to tell you right now the first way is watch my video and also watch the ad that's where youtube pays me from it's not just watching my video if you don't watch the ad i don't get paid are we together so that's how youtube work so if you watch my if you watch the ads on the, my video i get paid right but if you don't watch i hardly don't get paid you understand once you skip you are you're not making you're not helping me as the creator so if you have any ads that oh there's a way okay you want to you want to show love and appreciation and you don't have monetary you don't have cash to give me you don't have money to give to me please listen the serious way the best way you can do that for me is just watch my video and watch the ad and probably click on the ad if you want to even do me more good you understand it goes a long way it will pay me well you understand right so that we can come planning so many things for next year i want to get a camera i want to get a good mic I want to set up my place so we can start showing we can start seeing each other's face right <laughs> even i'm not seeing your face i want to start seeing my face because many people have asked me that show up your face let's see your face and that. so i want to start showing my face next year that is part of the plan so but we need funds like seriously we need funds and we need to even upgrade the system and all that so so many things to do next year but seriously so if you want support you can do that by watching the ads on my video and again not downloading the video watch it on youtube that's another way to support me right so and the next way to support me is okay let me just come to my don't tell me that it's boring just i've shown you something i'm i'm trying to tell you this i'm not it's not i'm not running out for anybody right now i'm telling you how to help me not anybody else right so this is one of my video right my last video right so now nah, i'd want to play probably you understand so I not want to play. So just wait for it to. So are you looking? So the network was not strong, so you had to. So instead of you skipping, you leave it to play. You understand? So I'll just pause this. This is not what I want to do. So if let you me. Are an independent content publisher, and you want to have months like this. So I'll just pause this and show you how to support me. Am I going to see it on the where am I going to see that stuff? Like you guys are no sure, please help me out. Where to give thanks? Like you want to tell somebody thanks. Like on your phone, I normally see yeah, this is right. On your phone, you just see it line up under the video, right? This thanks clips, all those stuff, right? So you can just click on this thanks and they are going to tell you you can select how much you want to you can drag this stuff to see how much you want to give right so even up to an hundred thousand naira so according to your country your currency will be there right so you can do that by saying thank you for what i do so if you have money you can do that for me but if you don't have money please always watch the ads on my video so thank you guys so buy and send and that's it whoop so back to 
as to I'm going to show you the color grading now. Because one thing I believe is the color grading needs to be top notch. It helps to blend everything in. And note the image was already retouched. I've already retouched the image before. So if you want to know how I retouch my image, there are a lot of videos on my YouTube channel teaching you that. And I'm going to probably leave some link of video retouching tutorials I've done. Be it for photography retouching, flyer retouching, smudging and all that. Anyone you want, like I'm going to leave it for you guys on in my description box so you can go there and watch and see what you can get from there. So I'm not feeling <laughs> so all these lights I've added them to the everything you get it from the material you so if you don't want to download the PSD file you can just get that from the material use. so these were all the lightning lighting and all that is it lightning or lighting my friend used to insult me he say it's lightning not lightning lightning is a strike like you understand from above there there's lightning above but this lighting yeah photographic temps right so so you see now too much lighting can spoil your design right but the appropriate amount of lighting can make your design look classic and standard so like yeah i noticed one thing here yeah, this stuff here yeah. so i'm going to click it the color that white is too large so i was thinking i would have used something like this Something like this is a little bit calm. You understand? That why it was looking off for me later, but it was too late too. So, so after this, you know what I do now? I use Shift, Control, Alt, and E to merge all my designs into one. Why? Because I want to do my final color grading and all that. So if you download my PSD, you can always click it. That's why I use the Convert Smart Object, so you can always click it to see the magic that went into it so this was the final yeah it looks more sharp more colored and so i'll just drag this so for you guys i will download the psd file you see the color grade i did on it so it's as simple as that please let me know in the comment section what you like us to do better next year 2024 how would you like us to improvise like what you like us to work on more the kind of designs you want and all that so let's just know so i can always serve you because that's why i'm here i'm here to serve you i'm here to give you what you want and probably help you to grow in your graphic design career so thank you guys it's my pleasure and we we'll call it a wrap for the year probably i I feel this will be the last tutorial. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. If I'm going to do anything, probably it's not going to be a tutorial, but maybe a shout out or anything like that. But for tutorial, like me opening my Photoshop and working you through like this, this is the last for this year. So finally, this year we've made. I pray we we'll get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you want me to get 10,000 subscribers, so just. Just make sure you subscribe, please. Make sure you subscribe. 10,000 subscribers, that's the goal for the year. And we are just few numbers away from it. Like, I need like 30 subscribers, nothing less than around 30, 30 more subscribers will get me to 10,000 subscribers. So, please, guys, do where to subscribe. If you are not, invite your friends to subscribe and all that. So, thank you, guys. Catch you later. Peace out. Happy New Year in advance. Catch you.